spaceship, go to the moon, salvage all the junk that's up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut, oh, 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 oh. a fuel expert. They built a rocket ship, and they went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next? Cord. I thought it was supposed to shape the ice so we could tow it through the ocean. It didn't work. It's a whole new field we're in here, Harry. We're still going to have to work on the parameters for the shape charge. All we got is cracked ice. Well, nobody's perfect. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep trying, that's all. Harry, someone's here to see you. Who? Oh. General? Hello, Harry. Well, Al Moore, you son of a God. Uh, Would you look at you? You're looking you. great. What is this? What is this? Hey, Skip, Melanie, come here. Look at this. Mel Slozar, Skip Carmichael, say hello to Al Moore. It's an old flying buddy. Nice to meet you. Hi, Al. How you doing? Ex-Army hey. Air Corps, now General United States Air Force. Yeah. Well, what brings you around, Al? You need a carburetor for your Chevy or a water pump or something? Harry, I've got a present for you. You're kidding. Is that her? Is that Lil? It sure is. I just got the picture yesterday. I figured you'd want to have it. Where did you find this? She looks incredible. This picture must be 20, 30 years old. Nope. That picture was taken just last week. Routine aerial reconnaissance. That's impossible. Look at the shape she's in. I know, and that's the incredible part. The reconnaissance plane made two passes, checked it out with infrared. Harry... Looks like someone's been taking good care of Lil. Hey, Harry, you feel like telling us what's going on? Yes, who is this Lil? April 18th, 1942, 400 miles off the coast of Japan. A squadron of Mitchell bombers takes off from the U.S. carrier Hornet. Never before in history have planes of this size and weight gone airborne from the deck of an aircraft carrier. Under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle, American bombers mount a wave of retaliation. That's Lil. The first That's me in the pilot seat. You flew the Tokyo raid with Doolittle? the youngest pilot in the squadron. Yeah, he lied about his age. <laughs> I was the co-pilot. He had a couple of years on me. We used his ID to buy the drinks. <laughs> Whatever happened to the little? Well, after the raid, we ran out of gas and had to put on the Burmese foothills. Took us two days to walk back to Rangoon. Rough country. How did you get back to your squadron? Well, we learned a little Chinese, and we had a special passport. You still got it. Harry, that's beautiful. Does it still fit? Uh, almost. <laughs> the jacket told the Chinese we were friends. See? Uh, Dong uh, Dong Hao. Dong Hao. Dong Hao. Friends. See? And after the Tokyo raid, we were more than friends. We were heroes. But no one ever went back for the Lil. No, she was so inaccessible that the Air Corps formally abandoned her there. But that was no big loss because by the end of the war, we were up to our noses in B 25s. <laughs> not anymore. No, sir, not anymore. The Lil is now the last remaining survivor of the Tokyo raids. Hmm. Would I like to go get her? I figured you would, Harry. And wouldn't she look good in the new Air Force Museum? Hmm? Is this a government request? Absolutely not. I'm sure the government wouldn't want to hear any talk about taking an old bomber out of Burma. But, uh, I've been in touch with some of the guys from the old squadron. And they've each pledged us some of money. More than enough to pay all the expenses and get in the Lil home. Can she be flown out of there? Well, that's something you folks will have to determine. You're the salvage experts. Okay, here's 
of one line. When you took off from the Hornet, you had a smooth 400-foot runway with 35-knot headwinds. Where the Lil is sitting now, if you don't have a headwind, you're going to need at least 1,200 feet of dirt. And that dirt better be smooth. How many feet we need? 1,200. We got it. Exactly 1,200? Just a tad under, but we can make it. We'll lighten it down. We'll take everything off. We don't need to fly. Harry, we don't even know what condition the engines are in. I didn't say we'll fly her right away. We'll check her out, make repairs. I'm sure between the three hours, we can figure a way to bring Shangle out of the home. should be back in a week. Oh, okay, I'll keep the business afloat while you go. I know you will. All right. Uh oh, we got trouble. <sighs> Hello, Harry. Loosen up, Jack. We know who you are. This just says I'm here on official business. Well, we'll fire away. Miss Lozar, gentlemen. Harry, isn't that the jacket you wore on a Doolittle raid? Sure is. And still fits. Almost. I didn't think you knew I flew with Doolittle. Oh, of course I knew that. And I also know that you've got reservations on Global Flight 342. Any law against that? Destination Burma. Just a little overseas business venture. With one-way tickets, Harry? I know you like to keep tabs on me, but I don't have to answer these questions. It gets to be a pain, Jack. Come on. Bye, Jack. Bye, Skip. Mel. Bye, 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 Matt. 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 Five, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. I just worked here. Uh, yes. You can rent the helicopter. Good. I fart. Oh. Charge fifty dollars American. One hour, two hours, a hundred dollars. We want it for ten hours starting now. Hey, very good. Where you go? There. No, no. Not go there. Why not? Bad things happen. What are you talking about? forces like Bermuda Triangle? That's superstitious nonsense. Hey, I'll take you someplace else. Want to go there? No. Raise the ante. Hundred dollars an hour? No. Hundred fifty? No, no money worth it. Two hundred. In advance?
Wow. We'll set us down by the plane. Too many trees by plane. What are you, crazy? There's plenty of room by that plane. No, I land here. Now. State Department. Actually, uh, according to international salvage law, Broderick is perfectly within his rights to... It's what? Jack, did you read last week's report on Red China? He's where? Good Lord, sir, I never had any idea that would... Oh, yes, sir, I realize that something must be done. Of course, sir, I'll, I'll get right on it. The Burmese border has shifted. That plane right now is in the People's Republic of China. Good Lord, if Broderick tries to fly a plane out of Red China and they get upset. Do, do you have any idea what he's liable to do to us? You've got to turn this over to the State Department. No, they have just dumped it on me. Well, what are you going to do? I've got one card. Operator, get me Peking information. He's fooling with the wrong guy. No, operator, I don't want information on Peking. I want you to connect me with the telephone operator in Peking. Yes, now you can dial direct. She's beautiful. She looks just like she did the day we rolled her out of the hangar at Eglin Field. Somebody really been taking care of that plane. It also looks like someone smoothed out the ground for takeoff. Yeah, look at all the trees. They're all cut back. This whole thing is pretty strange. Huh. Hey, Skip! machine guns still work. Whoever's in that turret could have killed us without any problem. You know, sometimes you've got a keen sense of the obvious, Harry. Maybe he's trying to show us he's in charge. Well, he's got my complete attention. Did you see anyone in the turret? No. Hey!
Question! Yes? We're American pilots. Name, rank, serial number. Name, rank, serial number. Roderick H. Colonel, U.S. Air Force Reserve. OR 2820-2275. Michael A. Lieutenant, U.S. Naval Reserve. 4412033. Uh, Slozar, M. Civilian. Drop weapon! Since Pamun John. God bless America, Jack, and how are you? Fine. Just fine. How are the wife and kids? We're all fine. All very happy. Now I can take them to Disneyland. You're going to love it, Lee. I'm getting you all free passes. Lee, I called to ask you a favor. Oh, for old comrade and friendly United States government? Just fire away. Do you know an American named Harry Broderick? Ah, uh, yes, the junk man who went to the moon? Now, that's a triumph for the working class, huh? I never thought of it in quite that fashion, Lee, but... I see what you mean. But right now, Broderick is in your country illegally. He thinks it's Burma. Ah, uh, yes, our borders do have a tendency to shift. He is trying to salvage an American bomber that landed there during World War II. Jack, put yourself at ease. Broderick is as much a hero in our country as he is in yours. In view of the new political climax between our two great nations, we will welcome him with open arms. Lee, what can I say? How can I thank you? Well, just consider it a present from us to you. Now, uh, just where is uh, Harry Broderick? Where are you from? Uh, look, Toshiro. May I call you Toshiro? Where is your base? Toshiro. The war is over. Ah, hand on head. Meaning they warn us. Never believe Yankee lies. The war's been over 34 years. Ha ha! It's lie. War not even start 34 years ago. Ha 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 ha. Sure it did. It's 1979. Woman, not talk. You think I am fool? I keep careful track of time. Today is... 3rd of March, 1963. Okay, pal, whatever you say. Why you come here? We come here to take this plane back to America. Aha. Uh -huh. Americans so desperate for war planes, America losing war. <laughs> I keep telling you the war is over. Silence! You, pilots. I, myself, aircraft mechanic, shut down 1944, 19 years ago. I keep this plane in number one condition. You ran the engines? Battery dead long time. I put in oil. I push propeller around two times each month. I see you bring battery. Make plane fly. Plane can't fly without gasoline. We only brought enough for testing. Plenty gas. Plane I crash in, no good, but have gas. I carry from Rick. Gas now in American bomber. Look, to Cheryl. No more talk! We get ready. We get ready for what? Make plane fly to Tokyo. Today, now. It's impossible. You make plane fly. You take me Japan. Today. Or you'll die. I can't get over it. I just can't get over it. 
The Lil is in great shape. That guy really did a job on her. That guy is forcing us to fly her out of here today. No, it won't be today. We got a lot to do. We gotta light her down, take that gun turret off the top, clean the fuel lines, spark plugs. I think we got enough runway. Harry, am I getting through to you? There's a guy out there pointing a gun at us. Now, what are we gonna do about it? Uh, he's a little crazy. He just wants the same thing we do. Yeah, well, fine. Let's get his gun and point it at him. <laughs> those props by hand kept the cylinders in good shape. Didn't do very much for the spark plugs. Why are you here with them? I work with them. Oh, oh you do cleanup work. I happen to be a graduate physicist. No. Yes. <laughs> does America lose so many in war that a woman now does a man's work? <laughs> It's been a long time since the war. Things have changed a lot. No, war not over. Whatever you say. Okay, easy. Okay. Ah. Harry, it's almost dark. We could take it. Skip. No, I talk! Work! Now, look! Skip. Start on the gun turret. I'll be right there. Go ahead, just start on the gun turret. I'll be right there. Uh, hey, Tashiro. Look here. We're running out of daylight. I have caught you. You work at night. It's been an awful long day. We're all getting tired. You work. Aren't you getting tired? You work. Not stop until plane fly.
these tires like that? That from tree trunk and pump. Huh. Why you not shoot me? Huh? Why you not shoot me? No reason. I hear many tales. Americans shoot all prisoners. You didn't shoot us? Is war really over? Yeah. Is not 1963? Well, no. See, it's 1979. Easy to lose track of time out here. I lose 16 years. 58-year-old man. Great shape, 58. 58-year-old man. Foolish man. What are you talking about? What you did here is some kind of miracle. You survived. Out here alone, you survived. And you kept this plane alive. After all these years, why you come here? Why you come for plane? She was my plane. I was the pilot. What you want with plane? A souvenir, Toshiro. Just a souvenir of a long ago war. A war that... Who win? Who win the war? You did, Toshiro. Japan won the war. Terrific winners, really. America and Japan are great friends. Oh, look. look. look this is called a digital watch. It's made in Japan. It's very clever. Yeah, you think that's clever? You ought to see what the Japanese have done with television. <laughs> radios. They're tiny, tiny little radios. And cars, automobiles. Hey, Skip. Aren't there places in America where there are more Japanese cars than American cars? Sure. My mom's got one. Come on, we're ready to test the engine. Come on, Toshiro, we're going to test the plane. Wait! Must make toast to commemorate start of engine. What is this? It's wine. I make it. All right. Ooh. Clear? It is good wine. I make from jungle fruit. Jungle fruit wine. Oh, my favorite kind. Mm. Can't wait to taste it. Mm. Thanks. Hey. Oh, nice. Smell? May test of airplane be success. Yeah. <laughs> Right. 200 proof. <laughs> you make toast. Okay, to, uh, to victorious Japanese. No more for me, I'll drive it. <laughs> Want to test them? <laughs> Harry, victorious Japanese? What did you tell him? I told him Japan won the war. Why? Well, he just learned he's 16 years older than he thought he was. There's only so much a man can take.
time. Just too much time. Nothing you could have done to keep the gasoline from breaking down. I don't know how we're going to get out of here now. Alcohol. To Shears wine is almost pure alcohol. Now, if we could pump that into the carburetors, we'd have a supercharge. Yes, it would increase engine power. And the RPM. We're going to have to rig some mines into the carburetors. Plane already has holes to a carburetor. Oh, yes, of course, for, for the de-icing system. And pump, too. Well, we're going to have to modify the pump to have a continuous feed. Easy. Yes, it is. You're a smart woman. <sighs> Let's go find that wine of yours. Uh, Jack, this is Lee Chow in Peking. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Very bad. Broderick's airplane turned up to be in a very sensitive area. It's controlled by the DKB. The DKB? The terrorist group. Now, sending our people into that area might incite violence. What do you mean, violence, Lee? Jack, we have some of the DKB leaders in our prison. It's a, a very delicate situation. And Broderick is in the middle of all this? Hmm. Harry Broderick is a very resourceful man. Uh, he, he will find a way to keep out of trouble. I hope so. So do I, Jack. So do I.
guess I've done it again. Oh, Harry, will you cut it out? Lock it up. Hey, hey, I, I don't understand the Chinese.
Shangri-La Lil to Tokyo Tower. What's your ceiling? Roger, I'll tell him. ETA Tokyo Airport, 18 minutes. Out. Well, to Cheryl. It's a good thing you put on your uniform. You're going to be met at the airport by the Marine Band and escorted to the Imperial Palace. You're going to be decorated by the Emperor. Welcome home, Toshiro. Yeah, you're some kind of hero. Amazing. To lose war and still be a hero. I owe it all to you. One question. Fire away! Sure, Japan lose war. <laughs> Sunday, February 18th. Tomorrow, the Fonz, Richie, and Joni arrange for a second honeymoon for the Cunninghams on Happy Days. Then Laverne and Shirley race the clock in a wild free food contest at the supermarket, followed by Three's Company and Taxi. After Starsky faces death at the hands of Hutch. Now stay tuned for How the West Was Won, next on ABC. It never came up in the conversation. It's been awfully young. Well, I was the youngest pilot in the squadron. Yeah, he lied about his age. <laughs> I was the co-pilot. He had a couple of years on me. We used his ID to buy the drinks. <laughs> Whatever happened to the little? Well, after the raid, we ran out of gas and had to put on the Burmese foothills. Took us two days to walk back to Rangoon. Rough country. How did you get back to your squadron? Well, we learned a little Chinese, and we had a special passport. You still got it. Harry, that's beautiful. <laughs> Does it still fit? <laughs> mm, almost. <Yeah. laughs> the Jackie told the Chinese we were friends, see? Uh, Dung uh, Dung Hao. Dung Hao. Dung Hao. Friends, see? And after the Tokyo raid, we were more than friends. We were heroes. But no one ever went back for the Lil. No, she was so inaccessible that the Air Corps formally abandoned her there. But that was no big loss, because by the end of the war, we were up to our noses in B-25s. <laughs> not anymore. No, sir, not anymore. The Lil is now the last remaining survivor of the Tokyo raids. Hmm. Would I like to go get her? I figured you would, Harry. And wouldn't she look good in the new Air Force Museum? Hmm? Is this a government request? Absolutely not. I'm sure the government wouldn't want to hear any talk about taking an old bomber out of Burma. But uh, I've been in touch with some of the guys from the old squadron. And they've each pledged a sum of money. More than enough to pay all the expenses and get in a little home. Can she be flown out of there? Well, that's something you folks will have to determine. You're the salvage experts. Okay, here's the bottom line. When you took off from the Hornet, you had a smooth 400-foot runway with 35-knot headwinds. Where the Lil is sitting now, if you don't have a headwind, you're going to need at least 1,200 feet of dirt. And that dirt better be smooth. How many feet we need? 1,200. We got it. Exactly 1,200? Just a tad under, but we can make it. We'll lighten it down. We'll take everything off. We don't need to fly. Harry, we don't even know what condition the engines are in. Say we'll fly her right away, we'll check her out, make repairs. I'm sure between the three hours we can figure a way to bring Shangle out of home.
This whole thing is pretty strange. machine guns still work. Whoever's in that turret could have killed us without any problem. You know, sometimes you've got a keen sense of the obvious, Harry. Maybe he's trying to show us he's in charge. Well, he's got my complete attention. Did you see anyone in the turret? No. Hey! John. God bless America, Jack, and how are you? Fine. Just fine. How are the wife and kids? Well... Want to build a spaceship, go to the moon, salvage all the junk that's up there, bring it back, sell it. So he put together a team, an ex-astronaut, <laughs> a fuel expert. They built a rocket ship. They went to the moon. Who knows what they'll do next? Too much Primacord. 
I thought it was supposed to shape the ice so we could tow it through the ocean. It didn't work. It's a whole new field we're in here, Harry. We're still going to have to work on the parameters for the shape charge. All we got is cracked ice. Well, nobody's perfect. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep trying, that's all. Harry, someone's here to see you. Who? Oh. General? Hello, Harry. Well, Al Moore, you son of a God. Would you look uh, at you? You're looking you. great. What is this? What is this? Hey, Skip, Melanie, come here. Look at this. Mel Slozar, Skip Carmichael, say hello to Al Moore. It's an old flying buddy. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Hi, Al. How you doing? Ex-Army hey, Air Corps, now General United States Air Force. Yeah. Well, what brings you around, Al? You need a carburetor for your Chevy or a water pump or something? Harry, I've got a present for you. Kitty. Is that her? Is that Lil? It sure is. I just got the picture yesterday. I figured you'd want to have it. Where did you find this? She looks incredible. This picture must be 20, 30 years old. Nope. That picture was taken just last week. Routine aerial reconnaissance. That's impossible. Look at the shape she's in. I know, and that's the incredible part. The reconnaissance plane made two passes. Checked it out with infrared. Harry, looks like someone's been taking good care of Lil. Hey, Harry, you feel like telling us what's going on? Yes, who is this Lil? April 18th, 1942. 400 miles off the coast of Japan. A squadron of Mitchell bombers takes off from the U.S. carrier Hornet. Never before in history have planes of this size and weight gone airborne from the deck of an aircraft carrier. Under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle, American bombers mount a wave of retaliation. That's Lil. The first That's me in the pilot seat. Plan. You flew the Tokyo raid with Doolittle? Mission. Yeah. Which not one single Harry, airplane. you never told us. should be back in a week. Oh, okay, I'll keep the business afloat while you go. I know you will. All right. Uh-oh, we got trouble. Hello, Harry. Loosen up, Jack. We know who you are. This just says I'm here on official business. Well, we'll fire away. Miss Lozar, gentlemen. Harry, isn't that the jacket you wore on a Doolittle raid? Sure is. And still fits. Almost. I didn't think you knew I flew with Doolittle. Oh, of course I knew that. And I also know that you've got reservations on Global Flight 342. Any law against that? Destination Burma. Just a little overseas business venture. With one-way tickets, Harry? I know you like to keep tabs on me, but I don't have to answer these questions. It gets to be a pain, Jack. Come on. Bye, Jack. Bye, Skip. Mel. Bye, 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 Matt. Bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. Bye, Matt. We're really going to try to salvage a B-25, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. I just worked here. Uh, yes. You can rent the helicopter. Good. Yeah, I fly. Oh. Charge fifty dollars American. One hour, two hours, a hundred dollars. We want it for so ten on. hours starting now. Hey, very good. Where you go? There. No, no, not go there. Why not? Bad things happen. Here. You tell me. Evil forces, like Bermuda Triangle? That's superstitious nonsense. Hey, I'll take you someplace else. Want to go there? No. Raise the ante. $100 an hour? No. 150 No, no money worth it. 200 In advance?
up by the plane. Too many trees by the plane. What are you, crazy? There's plenty of room by the plane. No, I land here. Now. State Department. Actually, uh, according to international salvage law, Broderick is perfectly within his rights to... It's what? Jack, did you read last week's report on Red China? He's where? Good Lord, sir, I never had any idea that would... Oh, yes, sir, I realize that something must be done. Of course, sir, I'll, I'll get right on it. The Burmese border has shifted. That plane right now is in the People's Republic of China. Good Lord, if Rudder tries to fly a plane out of Red China and they get upset. Do, do you have any idea what he's liable to do to us? You've got to turn us over to the State Department. No, they have just dumped it on me. Well, what are you going to do? I've got one card. Operator, get me Peking information. He's fooling with the wrong guy. No, operator, I don't want information on Peking. I want you to connect me with a telephone operator in Peking. Yes, now you can dial direct. She's beautiful. She looks just like she did the day we rolled her out of the hangar at Eglin Field. Somebody's really been taking care of that plane. It also looks like someone smoothed out the ground for takeoff. Yeah, look at all the trees. They're all... 